So it feels like forever since I've done a fragrance for you all and I have missed them so much because I have found some more perfume since the last time I filmed for you all. I have over 250 bottles. These 10 will always be in my collection. They're my absolute favorites. So let's jump right into the first one of my 10 perfumes for life. The first one I have is BDK Rouge Smoking. So this one here, it smells like cherry coke, but in the most luxurious, elegant way, you all. This is so gorgeous. This is what I wear when I wear in a smell. Feminine, sweet, but a little bit sexy, a little bit mysterious. It's just an overall sweet, fruity fragrance with a little bit of woodiness in the base. Like it's not overly sweet. It's not too juvenile. It feels very grown, but when I smell it, it smells like cherry coke. Like it, it's delicious. I wanna eat myself every Every time I wear this. So when I go on a special date with my husband, this is one of the ones that I wear. So let's go over the DNA of this one. The top notes have cherry, pink pepper, bergamot. It also has black vanilla, heliotrope, orange blossom. At the base, we have tonka bean, cashmere, and labdamum. The longevity on this is moderate. I get about eight hours on this, and the projection is moderate as well. So when you first spray this, I definitely get the cherry and the orange blossom a little bit of floral, but as it dries down, it gets a little bit more woody, a little bit creamier. So it's like vanilla, wood, and and cherry all combined, just slightly sweet, but not too sickeningly. It's delicious, you all, it's edible. If I had to pick two words for this one, I would say seductive and feminine. The next one I have is House of Beau La Mar. This is such an elegant fragrance, you all. This is what I wore all last summer. Like literally almost every day I was wearing this one. This is fruity, fresh, a little aquatic very clean. It's a great summer scent because it's not overly sweet. It's not too heavy. It's very fresh. So that's why I wore it during the summer because it smells almost like clean linen by the ocean with a little bit of a fruity touch, almost like the grapefruit in there. So a hint of citrus. At the heart of it, you have this jasmine and seawater. And then around it to kind of smooth out the edges, you have that almond milk and coconut. And then at the top, you have grapefruit for a little bit of citrus. It's just, it's refreshing. It's sweet. It's light. It's just a gorgeous fragrance and it smells like luxury. I don't know how to describe it other than that. The DNA of this one, the keynotes are grapefruit, seawater, jasmine, Madagascar pepper, coconut, and almond milk. The longevity of this is moderate for me. I get about six hours or so and the projection is moderate too. So it's great for if you wanna wear this to work. It's not gonna be beast mode. It's very work appropriate, great for every day. If I had to pick two words for this one, it would be refreshing and luxurious. The next one I have is by Parfums de Marly or Oriana. Now everyone talks about Delina, 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 Delina. Delina is actually not in my top 10, even though I like that fragrance a lot. But Oriana is such a sweet, girly fragrance, which is not like me. Most of my collection is not sweet. Like I hate sweet fragrances usually now, which is weird. I used to love them, but this one's an exception. And I think it's because it has a marshmallow in there, has whipped cream, it has must to make it a little bit more creamy. So it's not just straight up sugar, but it is definitely sweet. This is a sweet floral, you all. So when you first spray it, you definitely pick up the raspberries, the marshmallow, the whipped cream. I smell some black currant. So it's like, it's literally like fruit and whipped cream. This is a very like sexy date night, girly girl fragrance. That's what I would wear it for. It's juicy. It's sweet. It's a little creamy. It's bright, a little tart at the same time. It's, so the DNA of this one, the keynotes are mandarin, bergamot, grapefruit, raspberries, black currant. And at the base, you have marshmallow, whipped cream, and musk. And the longevity is long lasting for me. I get well over eight hours and the projection is moderate. It's so fun and flirty. That would be my two words for this one. It's fun, it's sweet, it's flirty. Next one we have is Inicio Psychedelic Love. You all, this is such, oh my gosh, it's such a gorgeous fragrance. And it's gonna be hard for me to describe this one because it's so well blended. It's not like one note sticks out over the other. That's the one thing about this brand, Inicio, is that everything is well blended to perfection. So this is categorized as a warm floral. When I first spray it, I get just a little bit of spice and creaminess. So I do pick up the hint of sandalwood. It has sandalwood listed and I get a little bit of rose, but just the slightest, like it's definitely not your grandma's rose at all. It's a very modern rose. Myrrh, it's a little bit creamy, a little spicy, a little floral. It's very rich and decadent, but none of the notes stand out. So it's hard for me to describe it other than it's this rich, creamy, slightly sweet, a little bit spicy 
spicy amber floral. So the DNA of this one, the keynotes are Ylang Lang, Bergamot, Bulgarian Rose, Myrrh, and Sandalwood. The longevity for me is amazing. I get at least eight hours of this and the projection is pretty strong. You have to be careful not to overspray this one. If I had to pick two words for this one, it would be seductive and intriguing. Next one I have is by Armani Privé line. It's their Rose Alexandri. Oh my gosh, you all. This is such a beautiful, soft, elegant, feminine fragrance. This is what I wear all year round during the day. This is a great work appropriate fragrance. It's great for spring if you don't like really strong fragrances, but you just want to smell put together, elegant, and pretty. This is the one. It's so gorgeous. It smells like luxury, but in the most feminine, elegant way. When you first spray it, you get a little bit of citrus. So I do smell that neroli in there and mimosa so I get a little bit of floral in there I don't get overly strong rose so if you don't like rose fragrances I think it's still worth trying this one because there is a hint of rose but it's not in your face it's well blended with all the other florals going on and then as it dries down it stays pretty much the same it doesn't change too much it just kind of calms down the citrus a little bit more so at the heart of it I have florals it's like rose and mimosa and then you have neroli too that's a little bit sweet you have bergamot here at the top that kind of keeps it fresh and light. It's just such a pretty light work appropriate fragrance. Like I reach for this one all the time. I'll even wear this to bed sometimes when I get out of the shower if I just want to feel very feminine and pretty and still clean at the same time. This is what I go to. Out of all of the ones I'm going to show you all, I think this is the safest work fragrance, safest blind buy because it's just a great fragrance. It's inoffensive. It's very pretty. The keynotes are Neroli, Rose, Mimosa, Mandarin Orange, and Bergamot. And longevity, I would say is a week to moderate. I get about four to six hours. You will need to respray this a little bit. Projection is moderate as well. It's not strong at all. If I had to pick two keywords for this one, I would say it's luxurious and feminine. The next one we have is Chanel Paris Riviera. Now this is kind of in the same lines along with the Rose Alexandra, you guys. This is what I wear literally so many nights before I go to bed. When I get out of the shower, I want to smell pretty and clean and fresh. This is what I missed on myself. And it's not a parfum so it's not too strong. So if you want something just light that's kind of a toilette that you can wear either to bed or every day or if you're just chilling at the house or even for work, it's a great work fragrance because it's not overpowering. So someone who's in like a medical field or office setting and you have to wear something very, very light, these I think work great. Anything from this line, the Paris line is amazing. I have a few others too, but Riviera is like chef's kiss. <laughs> so when you spray it, it definitely has the traditional Chanel DNA. It's a little bit soapy and waxy. It has those aldehydes in there, but it's definitely not strong. It's not like Chanel number five, which is like straight up aldehydes. This is not it, but it starts off a little bit with aldehydes. You definitely pick up the citrus and the floral. So I smell jasmine. Again, you guys know I love me some jasmine, but it has a little bit of creaminess because there's some sandalwood in here. So that's why I think it's a great balance is because there's aldehydes that's a little bit soapy, waxy. You have the sandalwood that's creamy. You have the citrus to keep it fresh. And then at the center, you have your jasmine and neroli that kind of fills it all in. So it's just very well blended and soft. But give it a minute after you spray it. Those aldehydes really do calm down. And by the time it dries down, it turns into this slightly tart, fresh, creamy floral. That's how I would describe it when it dries down. So the DNA of this wine, the keynotes are florals, orange peel, neroli, jasmine, benzoin, and sandalwood. And the longevity for me is moderate. I would say I get about six hours or so, not too, too long. So four to six hours projection is moderate as well. So if I had to pick two words for this, I would say it's sparkling and comforting. Next one we have is Diptyque Oudwell. I have the Parfum. There's the toilette version too. It was hard for me to find the notes. I was looking on their site to see what's in here. So I'm going to take some guesses, you all, and then I'll list it here on the screen. Oh, this is so beautiful. Rumor has it, I don't know if this is true or not, that this is what Beyonce wears. So I was like, oh yeah, so I'm going to get that one because if Beyonce wears, it has to be good. So this is a vanilla that's witty, fresh, a little bit green. So this isn't your bakery vanilla. This is not your boozy, overly sweet vanilla. It's very fresh, modern, kind of unisex, but it has 
has a little bit of boozy factor in there, just a slightest bit, but it definitely is more like a woody vanilla is how I would describe it. So at the center of it, there's definitely vanilla. It smells like there's some sort of cedar at the base. I don't know if there's any sandalwood. I'm not picking up that, but there's definitely a wood at the base. It is such a gorgeous, comforting, modern, sexy fragrance for fall. This is what I wear all fall and winter because it's classy, it's elegant, it's a great everyday scent. It's not too overpowering and it's definitely not too sweet. So if you like a more dry vanilla that still is very elegant, this is gorgeous. So the DNA of this one, it has bourbon vanilla, spices, ambroxan, and rock rose. Longevity for me is long lasting. I get at least eight hours and the projection is moderate to strong. So don't overspray it too much at all because it can be overpowering if you overdo it, but it's not beast mode at all. If I had to pick a couple words to describe this one, I would say comforting and classy. Next one we have, you know I had to put this one in here. You guys have been talking about this for like two years now. It's Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. This is, oh, it has my heart. This is my sexy date night fragrance. My husband goes crazy when I wear this one, which is unusual because most guys love like, you know, sweet floral fruity fragrances. But when I wear this one, my husband's like, yes. <laughs> so this, when you first spray it, it's sweet candied fruit and spices. It smells like a dessert, but not overly sweet. It smells like like spiced pudding, like it's creamy, it has some vanilla, has some spices at the top. It's definitely like candied fruit, almost like candied ginger, cranberries, and all of that. It's just, it feels very fall winter for me, but it still has this sexiness to it. it this is gonna sound crazy, it smells like root beer. And I think that's why I love this so much, because you guys saw I loved the cherry coke one. I think I like drink scents. <laughs> this smells like root beer, but in the most elegant, luxurious way, like it's crazy creamy, it's a little spicy, has a hint of tobacco in there too, just the slightest bit. It's very, it's not overwhelming. So that's why I'm surprised they call it tobacco vanille because I don't really, I don't feel that the tobacco is the strong note. So I think if you're afraid to try this because it says tobacco on there, give it a try. I really think that you will like it if you like spicy vanillas. So the DNA of this one, it has tobacco leaf, vanilla, tonka bean, dried fruits, and spices. The longevity for me is moderate. I would say it lasts about seven hours. And the projection is moderate to strong. So definitely don't overspray this one, you all, because it, it can get beast mode if you spray it too many times. So my two words for this one would be sexy yet comforting. Next one we have is another one by BDK. This is Gris Charnel. Oh, this is so gorgeous, you all. This is my go-to during fall and winter. This is creamy sandalwood, comforting, mysterious, a little sexy, a little spicy. So when you first spray this, it's gonna smell like cardamom. So it's definitely in your face cardamom and then within less than 10 seconds it automatically starts to calm down and you get some of that sandalwood in there you get the tonka bean and then you get a hint of fig in there too and that's what makes this a little bit unique is that combination between the fig here strong amount of cardamom sandalwood and then the tonka bean so it's this creamy kind of green a little woody fresh scent with just the slightest bit of sweetness from that sandalwood it's like it's rich it's decadent but it's not in a gourmand way. This isn't edible, but it still is just, it's creamy and dense and sweet. It's so gorgeous. It's just a touch earthy in there. It's warm. It's a little bit woody at that base. That sandalwood really shines through. If you love sandalwood and cardamom, this is... It's so gorgeous. So the DNA of this one, the keynotes are cardamom, fig, sandalwood, and tonka bean. For me, longevity is long lasting. I got 10 hours out of this one and the projection is strong. So definitely don't overspray this one. I sprayed the first time I got it. I was so excited. I loved it so much. I was like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. I sprayed five or six. My husband was like, whoa, what are you wearing? <laughs> like, it was a lot. If I had to pick two words for this one, it would be creamy and intoxicating. Then the last one I have, everyone knows her. This is super popular, but I still have to keep it in my collection because it's so unique. I mean, it's popular for a reason and it's uh, Francis Kirkchion Baccarat Rouge 540. I have the X straight version because I like that a little bit more. So this one has very mixed re reviews. Either people absolutely love it or they hate it. If I had to describe this one, it would be woody and clean and it has some musk in there too. But when I first spray it, I definitely get dry, woody, clean with a hint of almond in there. There's some woody notes at the base. You have a hint of almond to add just a little bit of nuttiness and creaminess. You have just a little bit of jasmine, but not much. I don't really pick it up a ton. It's very airy. It smells clean, woody, fresh, and luxurious. Like if you want to 
to smell like money, this is the fragrance. And there really is nothing on the market like that. I mean, there's a lot of dupes now, but when this first came out, it was so unique. And that's why everyone loves it so much is because it just has this aura of being so fresh, elegant and it screams luxury. So the DNA of this one, at the top you have your almond and saffron, jasmine, cedar, ambergris, woody, notes, and musk. The longevity for me is long lasting. I get at least eight hours out of this, especially if I spray it on my clothes. And for me, the great thing for this, I, I mix it a lot. So I wear this with other fragrances too. And it just, it I don't know, it just blends in. It does really, really well. So on its own or mixed with something else. So if I had to pick two words specifically, I would say luxurious and airy. So hopefully that was fun for you all getting to know my top fragrances for life. Let me know what your fragrances are in the comments below. Join me next week for another Fragrance Friday, you all. Stay happy and healthy and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.